I'm Linda. Some people know me as the Wonder Oven Lady. I'd like to introduce you to Wonder Ovens. This is a Wonder Oven, which is an insulating cushions retaining heat in the pot that you're cooking. In other words, it's like having a crock pot without any electricity added. It's filled with wonderful little styrene pellets that are great insulators and keep your food hot and cooking. Let me give you some of the benefits of cooking in a Wonder Oven. It saves tremendous amount of fuel, which is very important. It doesn't burn or dry your food out, and even more important, it retains all those wonderful vitamins in your food. It's safe. You don't have to babysit this. In other words, if I'm baking bread in my oven, I have to be right here when it comes out 40 minutes after I put it in. But in this, I can put it in my Wonder Oven and I can walk away for eight hours or longer and my bread is still just perfectly fine. If you can boil water, you can cook in a Wonder Oven. It's best if you use foods that have a lot amount of liquid in them, like beans, stew, soups, rice, vegetables, but it's great also for cooking bread, muffins, chicken, beef, anything that you don't want floating around in that water. This is the Wonder Oven. It has the styrene pellets in it. It has a top and a bottom. The bottom has this little nesting part to make a nest for your pot. So, you take your your pan and fill it full of your liquids. Say I'm making stew. I would put my broth in there, my meat, my vegetables, salt, whatever I'm going to do. Put the lid on it. Always put the lid on it. Put it directly on your stove. Bring it to a boil. Boil it a certain amount of time. And then bring it straight from that and put it in your Wonder Oven. Put the lid on and leave it. It's that simple. There are different times for different foods. See our website at www.wonderovens.com for all the specifics. But you're never going to have to boil your food for more than 15 minutes. And you'll leave it one to five hours, but you can leave it longer as we said before. There's a few things that you need to remember when you're cooking with a Wonder Oven. You need to use a tight lid. One that won't allow the steam to escape because that's what you're cooking with that heat. You want a pan that's closest to the volume of the food that you're using. Because if I was making beans in this and I wanted a great big lunch for a lot of people, this would be a great size pan. Or for my bread that has the taller cans. But if I am uh, going to cook a small amount of food, I want a smaller pan so that there's not a lot of dead air space. Remember, don't ever lift the, the lid while you're cooking. Uh, just put it directly in there so you don't release the heat. Another thing, don't place your Wonder Oven on a metal or concrete surface because it conducts the heat off. And we don't want anything that will pull that heat away while it's cooking. Remember, the more food you have, the bigger volume, the longer and better it cooks. So if I have a big pot like this, it's easily going to stay hot for eight hours. But if I have a smaller pan, I might, might want to only hold it for about five hours. Sometimes I will put a towel in my Wonder Oven when I put my food in it so that it won't spill and get my Wonder Oven dirty. However, you can wash your Wonder Ovens. Just put them in the washer on a gentle cycle and in the dryer on a cooler cycle for 15 minutes. Of course, you can always line dry it. But if you wanted to cook, say you needed to cook some food and your Wonder Oven was still a little damp, go ahead. It's still a great insulator. Cook your food that way. But remember not to put your Wonder Oven away while it's damp because it gets a little moldy. Okay, say we're going to have a party. I've been invited to my daughter's house and she asked me to bring a green bean casserole. But it's an hour drive to her house and then we're not going to eat for another hour, so what am I going to do? Okay, you cook your bean, green bean casserole in the oven if you choose to. Take it straight out in your 9 by 13 pan, cover it with tin foil, put the top right on it, and off you go in your car. So, it's great for parties. Holds the food, doesn't burn them, doesn't dry them out. But it's also good for cold food. Say I want to take ice cream or a big thing of popsicles right to a party up in the, can up in the canyon or at the park. Go ahead and put it in here. It'll hold it frozen for about three hours. But remember, it's not going to refreeze them, so anything that's left over will melt. So just take what you're going to use. Now this is great in an emergency. So we don't have electricity, it means we also don't have a refrigerator. Say I made this great big pot of, of beans and bread in another Wonder Oven, but I have some left. 
bring it back up to a boil, boil it for one to two minutes, put it back in here and hold it till your next meal. It's great for leftovers. So, multiple Wonder Ovens are the best way to go because if I want to have beans, but I want to cook some bread to go with my beans, and maybe I'd even like to have some cake to go with it for dessert. That would take three Wonder Ovens. So multiple Wonder Ovens are better. So we'd love you to subscribe to our channel and keep up to date on all the things that we're doing in our recipes. So also see our website at www.wonderovens.com. Thank you.